Jim Bray, Zach again at NewTutorial.com. Wanted to come in and do a video for you today. You know, and you, you always know when you hit a topic that really stirs up a bee's nest because you get lots of comments and you get lots of, you know, hate mail and, uh, you know, just derogatory messages and name calling goes crazy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, well, it comes with the territory. It's just part of the whole thing. You know, you, sometimes there's people who are not going to agree with you on certain things, and that's okay. But listen, I'm really going to try my best to give you, people who watch my videos, and just give myself... The, you know, the, just have this ability to go out and just try to find out what is real and what is not. Because there's a lot of people out there who are pushing things really to build up an, their own agenda, build up their own kingdom. And it's just, it's it's foolhardy. And I, I just can't stand it. Especially when they almost fool me or fool me and I have to go out and do the research myself because I've heard an argument. Listen, guys, here's how to debunk an argument. When you When you hear something that people tell you is truth... The thing you need to do is this. When you hear an argument, go find the person who disagrees with that argument and hear them out. Hear what they have to say. And then, once you've done that, take that argument that they have given you and go back to that person and say, Hey, you say this, but this person says this, what do you say? And then hear what they have to say. And you may have to do that a couple of times, going back and forth. You know, that's how I did that with evolution versus creation. When I was really trying to research evolution versus creation, and I truly believed in it, and I was trying to develop an apologetics on why creation, a biblical creation, is real, I wanted to fo go back and, and, and hear the arguments on both sides so that I could develop an apologetics uh, when, I'm when I'm teaching this or talking about it to others. Right? So it's the same thing. This book, The 13th Tribe, is garbage. This book, The 13th Tribe, was written in 1976. It is complete nonsense. It's almost 40 years old. You know how I know it's 40 years old? It was published in 1976, but that was, when, that was the year I was born. I'm almost 40 years old. And so this is ancient history when it comes to modern science and genetics. Okay? And so we should know if this guy... Arthur Kessler, who wrote The 13th Tribe, if he's correct, we should be able to know by now, 40 years, almost 40 years later, if his theory is true. It's not. Folks, it fails. It fails miserably. It fails miserably. Um, this guy, Arthur Kessler, he was a Jew. He was a Jew who wrote this book, The 13th Tribe. And the reason he wrote the book, the entire reason he wrote the book, was to maybe find a way to end anti-Semitism, race, racism against Jewish people in Europe. Because he saw all the racism going on. He lived through World War II. He died in 1978. And so he, he sees all this stuff going on. And he's like, you know, if we could just prove if, I, if we could just prove that the Jews aren't even from Israel, the people who call themselves Jews, the Ashkenazi, if we can prove a theory that these people aren't even from Israel, it would end anti-Semitism and how better of a world it would be if there was no anti-Semitism anymore in Europe. Because that's what World War II was all about, you know, the whole killing of all the Jews. And so he lived through that. And he's like, man, if we could just end this, and we could end it by telling people that we're not even Israel. And so Arthur Kessler wrote a book called The 13th Tribe, which, which basically pushed a theory, a theory, folks, that these people who call themselves Jews were from the Caucasus Mountains or from the Khazars, the empire of the Khazars. And we can, that's my theory, that's his theory. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go with it. That the Jewish people are from the Khazars. They're not even from Israel. They're not even real Hebrews. They're just a bunch of converts. And then that will end racism. That's the theory. If we can do that, it's not true. Okay, genetics today prove this to be false. Simple. There has been so many genetic tests in the last decade that prove this is false. It's not even funny. It was a 40-year-old theory. Let it die. Let it die. You know, there was another book not too long ago, or maybe, you know, not too long ago in terms of recent history, a theory that was pushed amongst people, you know, starting about 200 years ago. Hey, let's check this out. It's, it's The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. It says, it's, it's a theory, it's a hypothesis that says, hey, you know, maybe we evolved from different species. The, where the origin of species maybe comes from one or two different species that, you know, came out of a primordial soup. Maybe this, maybe this theory could, could show us the origins of life. The problem is, it's wrong. It's been proven wrong. But see, just like this book right here, 
This book, there are people who have dedicated their entire lives, their entire careers around this theory being true. And see, they can't give it up. It's become a religion to them. A religion to them. It's the same with this book. This book, Arthur Kessler wrote this book hopefully to one day end anti-Semitism, racism against the Jews. Hoping that his theory, if proven correct, because he didn't know, he did not know, he was just a theory, that maybe it would end racism against the Jewish people. That, hey, we're not even Jews. Leave us alone. We, we can be just like you. Stop hating us. The problem is it's wrong. It's completely wrong and been proven wrong. But people, it, I mean, this book has in, done the exact opposite of what Arthur intended it to do, to end racism. Now it's being promoted to, you know, increase racism amongst these people who call themselves the Black Hebrew Israelites. This guy named Chuck Dow, who's out there going and telling people, oh, that, oh this is a, these are people from the Khazars. And it's wrong. People out there, there's a lot of people out there teaching this nonsense. It's, a, it's false. It's been, let it die, just like this book, let it die. But, you know, people are so entrenched, they have built their ministries, they have built their careers, they have built their entire lives around this book that now they can't let it go. They can't let it go. It's, it's, it's solid now. I've, got, I've built this whole empire, this whole kingdom on earth of mine that I built, this whole ministry, this whole career on this book. I can't let it be a lie now. It, I've got to push it. I've got, I've got to keep making it work. I've got to keep changing it to make it to make my theory work. It's the same thing with this book. Folks, both of these books are based on theories of a man who had an idea, you know, of how they could explain something and make the world better for it. The problem is it's wrong. You know, it doesn't matter their intention. It doesn't matter if their intention was good. It doesn't matter if their intention was to get to the truth. It was wrong. Let it die. Let it die. Anyway, there's a great video that I posted on Facebook the other day. It says the Arthur Kessler 13th tribe refuted, debunked. You can watch it. There's so many science, so much scientific evidence. Take a look at this uh, entry from Wikipedia where it talks about uh, uh, Kessler. It says, in the 13th tribe, 1976, Kessler advanced a theory, a theory that Ashkenazi Jews were descended not from the Israelites of antiquity, but from the Khazars, a Turkic people in the Caucasus that converted to Judaism in the 8th century and was later forced westwards. Kessler argued that a proof that, that a proof of Ashkenazi Jews have no biological connection to biblical Jews would remove the racial basis of European anti-Semitism. But DNA evidence has since undermined his theory. Let it die, folks. Let it die. It's done. It's kaput. It, it's, the, you know, you're beating a dead horse. It's truly dead. Okay. All right. I had to throw that out there, guys. I'm linking this video in the description on YouTube to another video that goes through all the scientific evidence that shows why this theory is completely dead, both from a genetic standpoint, also from a linguistic standpoint, because there is a giant study out there, folks, if you didn't know, on linguistics and languages. If these people were really Turkic people from the Caucasus Mountains, their language that had been, you know, moved westward, you know, the Yiddish language that, that was partially Hebrew and partially German would have some sort of Turkic evidence in it. And there's not. It's not. There's all kinds of proof, all kinds of scientific proof out there that this book is just wrong. And it's been completely, completely abandoned by academic scholars today. Done. It's done. All right. We'll leave it at that. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks. Thanks.